I took some, well, I trimmed the lower branches of this poplar. I think it's a poplar. Or is it the other one? Uh, I'll put it on the description. They are fast growers, good tree for the desert. Yeah, it's pretty tall now. I'm gonna say maybe six feet tall. But I trimmed the lower branches. I collected some uh, cuttings right here. We're gonna collect this. I got some already that I trimmed a little bit. So I'm gonna fix that a little bit right there. Scar it and plant it. And I know they're gonna grow good. So I can't wait. There it is. So we collected at least 10 cuttings and that's what I did as well scar it so that's where the roots are gonna perform well form so dipped it in water a little bit so we're gonna go ahead and what I do I just put it like that in the ground that's it just water it simple no need to stress over it, putting rooting hormones or whatnot. You don't need to do that. With this ones, of course. Because they do root very easily. They're fast growers. They're good shade trees. And it's going to benefit the uh, desert here. Because, uh, yeah, for our orchard, we're going to have a nice orchard where you can go picnic as well. Just a little camp area, you know, you can go camping. Uh, it's probably in a couple of years that should be done. So we're just concentrating on our orchard for now. But at the same time, we're planting a lot of uh, cuttings. We're going to plant a lot of trees. So in the long run, it's going to be, I know there's a lot in there. That's okay, guys. That's okay. No problem. Because we're going to separate that once it's rooted. Separate it next spring or mid spring. So that'll be good, ready to go. So, this two, I'll probably gonna add it with the mesquite seedling right here. Ouch. Ooh, something poked me. Terrible. Yeah, just stick it in there. Water it and watch it grow, guys. Watch it grow. I'll uh, do an update probably by springtime and show you guys the result. I know it's going to root because uh, I did this last year as well.